Hello, I'm Friegel from the Traveling to Bicycle Touring website. Andrew's behind the camera, and today we're going to talk to you about the Take a Look mirror. Now, this is the rear view mirror that we used on our bicycle trip around the world, and it's a really important tool for improving safety. So today we're going to show you how the mirror works, and we're also going to show you how you can mount it to a helmet, and how you can mount it either to the left or the right side of the helmet. And that's important because, of course, you may be going to a country where they drive on the other side of the road. This is the mirror itself as you receive it. As you can see, it's very small. It's about three and a quarter inches long. It's about one inch high and it's very narrow. It's almost flat when you lay it down like that. One of the best things I think about this mirror is all the different directions that it pivots in. So for example, here's your mirror. You can swing it around 360 degrees. You can move it up and down like this. And also at this point, which is where you would attach it to your helmet or your eyeglasses, in fact I think it's originally designed for eyeglasses, but as you'll see later we're going to put it onto a helmet, this part also pivots around 360 degrees. So there are lots of options for adjusting this. Once you have it on, you can really fine tune it so that the mirror is just where you want it and you can see perfectly behind you. The other couple little things I'll point out, uh, first of all the mirror is very durable. Anyone who knows me will know that I'm a bit of a klutz and several times in our trip I dropped my helmet and the mirror took the brunt of the fall onto a brick floor or something else equally hard and it hasn't got any chips at all on it. It's really still in perfect condition after three years of constant use. And the other thing is just a little hack that I wanted to show you on the back of the mirror. It's probably a bit difficult to see, but here we have some silver reflective tape. Now this is something that we put on ourselves. The reflective tape doesn't come with the mirror, but you can get it in lots of different shops. And we just cut out a little square and put it here so that when cars are coming towards us in low light, that's one more point for their headlights to reflect off of us and tell the cars that we're there. So just an added little bit of safety. So here we have our helmet and the standard positioning for the mirror if you're in a country where people drive on the right hand side of the road is to put it on the left hand side of your helmet. Uh, now the easiest point that we found to attach these mirrors to our helmets is actually on the visor itself. So all you have to do is just take these little black knobs and just slide them on and that's really all there is to it. It's very very simple. Um, and to adjust it, you really have to go for a bike ride. So the best thing to do is just to hop on your bike and then play with the adjustment on a quiet side street and you can move it up and back a little bit. And you can also play with the positioning here like I was showing you earlier. And then when you get home and you have it in just the right position, the best thing to do is to just put a little bit of duct tape around this area. And it doesn't take very much, a couple times around with duct tape and that mirror will be stuck in position for months to come. That's definitely been our experience on the road. The other option, if you have a helmet that doesn't have a visor, is you can actually attach the mirror onto these parts of the inner helmet. Now, I don't like this solution quite as much because sometimes if you have a helmet that fits very snugly around your head, you will feel these little bumps here and it's not quite as comfortable, so then you have to wear your helmet a bit looser. It's not an ideal solution, but you can stick it there if you want to, and we have done that in the past. So now we're going to talk about how you actually get the mirror onto the other side of the helmet. So for example, if you're cycling in New Zealand, Australia, Thailand, all these sorts of places. Now we have two mirrors here, one is mine and one is Andrew's, and they are in exactly the same position. The wire is at exactly the same angle, but as you can see, when you put it on the right hand side, it's really not in the ideal spot. You can see that it's underneath the visor, it's going to be in your direct field of view, and that's really not what you want. So what are you going to do? Well, all you're going to do is bend this little arm. Now, I know that seems a little bit counterintuitive and you might be worried about it breaking, but we've done this several times on the road. I would estimate that about half a dozen times we had to switch our mirrors from one side to the other. Not the kind of thing you do every day, but um, those half a dozen times haven't had any effect whatsoever on this wire. It is extremely malleable. And in fact, if you look on the Bike Peddler site, that's the company that actually designed the mirror, they say that you can bend this wire and that it is extremely malleable. So, as I said, I wouldn't do it every day, but for an occasional trip to a country where they drive on the other side of the road, it's really not going to be a problem. So, maybe the best thing is if I just put the helmet on, and then you'll have an idea of how it looks as well. Let's get it in here. There we go. Okay, so this is me and my very fancy bike helmet. And all I'm gonna do is just pull this out a little bit like so until it comes out to the end of the visor and then I can play with the mirror 
and I can adjust it until I see what I want to in the back. And that's it. And as you can see, that wire really does bend very easily and it's ex still extremely stable. And there you have it, the Take-A-Look mirror.